Hey, so it's April 11 and I wanted to go over the latest changes in Glide's pricing. So a few weeks ago, Glide changed its pricing and here on my left side, you can see the old, not so old, like the three, four weeks ago, um, pricing changes in Glide. Basically they changed the structure uh, they were charging per app and now they started charging per user. Um, and then Glide had some calls with us, with the experts or clients and they did an update and pricing change for the better. Um, so I wanna to cover today those changes. So we'll start here, previous free version. Um, so data source was your Glide tables. On the new pricing page, you can either use Glide tables, but you can also import your data. So that's uh, something better than before, right? Um, and then you get like components, uh, the normal stuff, the normal basic stuff. You can only have one app, two editors. Uh, the cool thing about here, um, same as before, is that you don't need updates. Updates don't count because you're using uh, Glide tables. So updates only count when you're using other data sources. Um, and again, you also have 10 personal users. So free is just, uh, it's not a freemium officially, but it's just for you to get started and feel uh, the product. Then we have the maker plan. So Price doesn't change. Um, again, here we have on the previous price uh, structure, we had both Glide tables and Google Sheets. Nowadays, we have Glide tables, Google Sheets, plus ability for you to import your data. Nowadays, you get um, custom domains and branding, so that is important because here, since you have unlimited personal users, and that means that anyone with their personal email, their Gmail, their Yahoo, their Hotmail, will be able to log in as well as um, educational users, so students and faculty members. Um, so you can make like a mini SaaS, you can make an app that has thousands of users on the maker plan. Um, here, the limit is 500 updates, but again, remember, if you're building using Glide tables, updates don't count. So I actually don't even count updates here because you should be building using Glide tables. Glide tables are super powerful. Um, again, one app, um, but you get custom domain, custom CSS. So that is huge. Uh, you can modify your app. You can make it look any way you want. And later on, I'll do a video showing um, some CSS tricks and how you can make your app look way more beautiful than what Glide provides right out of the box. And the other big thing is that you get all of the integrations. So on the previous pricing page, you can see here uh, that we had like these integrations like OpenAI, Google Maps, Discord, and then on the team plan, you had some additional ones like Slack, Asana, PDF Monkey, and then on the business plans, other ones like Twilio, um, Zendesk, Teams, etc. So starting on any paid plan, on the maker plan, you get all the integrations right out of the box. So the goal is that you that you use the app, um, and you can integrate with anything, um, you get the trigger webhook. So this is huge. This is something that we use every single day in the apps that we make at low code. Um, because if there is not a native integration that Glide has with a trigger webhook, you can do pretty much anything using make, uh, make.com or maybe even Zapier, if that's what you use. Um, so the maker plan became a very good product for you to launch something like public facing. Um, as long as your users don't use their work email to log in. Okay. Now we get into the team plan. So again, price doesn't change. Um, the original user count doesn't change. So you still get 20 users, but previously, I don't have this in my screenshot on the left sidebar. Previously, um, additional users were charged at four or five bucks uh, a month, depending on if you were paying monthly or yearly. Um, now the yearly plan is $3 per additional user. So that gives you uh, some additional range to maybe create like a customer portal where you have like a few dozen clients, uh, 100 clients or something, um, paying uh, using the app or maybe even internal users, internal employees. 5,000 updates, that doesn't change. Editors, doesn't change. Uh, again, you can have unlimited apps, that doesn't change. Data sources, you get everything like Glide tables, Google Sheets, Airtable, and Excel. So everything in terms of smaller data sources. Um, so with all of these, you can have up to 25,000 records, 25,000 rows. Definitely, if you are planning to get to this number of rows, use Glide tables. It'll scale better than any of the other um, data sources. 
And again, you get all the integrations. You get access to the API. So for example, you trigger a webhook, but then you want to bring over something uh, to that specific row or record using live tables, then the Glide Daisy API will be enough for you to do that. And then you get Glide AI, which is pretty cool, pretty advanced. We've done some videos already on Glide AI. Um, super useful, and this is just getting better. And then you get support uh, from Glide, um, same as the Maker Plan. Any pay plan has official support from the Glide support team. And then we move on to the business plan. Um, again, price doesn't change. You get 40 users, so double the amount of users, which is very important that that was something that we were pushing light for uh, as soon as we saw the previous price changes. Um, and then also additional users are cheaper than before. I think they were like seven and eight monthly or yearly, um, or six to eight, and now they're like five on the yearly and six on the um, monthly plan, right? You get 10,000 updates, 10 editors, um, and unlimited apps. The important thing, again, with the updates, use your fly tables as much as possible. Another important thing here on the business plan is that you get like more traditional, super robust data sources. That means Glide Big Tables, PostgreSQL, MySQL, SQL Server, uh, Google BigQuery, etc. So in the business plan, you can really scale your app. And this is when it starts making sense to analyze what you're trying to build, how your business works. Because sometimes the way we build apps in low code is we will build some things using like normal Glide tables. And if you're creating like a log and you have like a table where you expect hundreds of thousands of records, um, then we'll use either a Glide table or a SQL database to store those things. It's important to note that SQL tables like uh, Glide Big Tables and the other data sources, the, the more robust data sources, don't work exactly the same as Glide tables and, and Google Sheets in their table. So it's important to figure out what is the best way to build your app and how to use the backend. Now you get call API, so you do pretty much anything in terms of the API, you get 10 million rows in Bigtable and SQL data sources, so you can scale massively. There's no limit here. You get um, an advanced API, so you can pull and push any kind of data from your backend into any other software or uh, any other data that you have outside into Glide. Um, and then as an additional paid, on, paid add on, you get a single sign on, you get priority support um, and personalized onboarding. I think this. Don't change. Um, this is probably the best plan for businesses um, that are scaling, either in terms of users, in terms of data. Then something pretty good is that we get enterprise plan. So on the previous plan, you had to conduct support. Right here, you can see like enterprise plan starts at a thousand bucks a month, uh, build yearly. And then it depends on what you need. We have some customers that need a few thousand users uh, some customers that need multiple editors, some customers that need a lot of um, updates because they're using multiple data sources. Um, so this is custom based on your needs, but it's good to have the enterprise plan here. And you can see right away if this is something um, that makes sense and has an ROI for your business. Uh, you also get an account manager here and like a very close relationship with the client, pretty much defining where the product roadmap is going. Um, so again, here you can use the pricing calculator as well, uh, up to 500 users. There was a previous limitation on the old pricing page that you could go only to up to 100. Um, so if you are, let's say, if you have a 100 employees um, or a make suit employees and um, customers, uh, so 100 people will log in during a month to your app. Um, and then updates, let's say that you're building everything on Glide Table, so this doesn't even count. You're gonna pay $3.39 uh, per month, so $3.39 per month per user, which is pretty efficient, um, which means that you only need to uh, be marginally better, like each of your employees, so that your, your customers uh, need to do something marginally better to, to make up those $3 a month. Um, we're seeing massive ROI when we're building light apps uh, for our clients and they're saving hours per user per employee. So $3.39 um, is, is nothing. Um, and then again here, 200, it's pretty much the same, $3 per user. Um, so this is a new Glide pricing page. Um, I think this is gonna stay for a while. Um, 
Collide is very competitive for building internal applications. Um, and if you have like a use case where you have, where you expect to have thousands of users, then reach out to us or reach out to the enterprise team in Glide and they'll give you like a personal plan that is cost effective and that allows you to really grow and scale with a platform that just works. It never breaks. Um, and that will allow you to build fast and efficiently. So that's it for now. If you want to learn more about low code agency and what we've been doing at Glide, check out our channel, see our other videos, check out our website at lowcode.agency. That's it for now. Goodbye.